Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. See General Hospital's John J. York for the fan's new video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. John J. York is in good spirits. That may not be what folks would expect for the General Hospital star who was diagnosed with MDS, myelodysplastic syndromes, and multiple smoldering myeloma back in December but Mac's longtime portrayer is taking his cancer diagnosis in stride. When York sat down to talk with people, he put it this way, it's gonna work out Oak, one way or another. In the end, it's in God's hands. I'm either gonna survive or I'm not. And life goes on and things are gonna be okay for everybody. It helps, of course, that health issues are nothing new to him. The actor explained that he's dealt with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease since he was a teenager. This, he noted, was just another thing that I gotta now take care of. In fact, it was because of those conditions that he had to have constant checkups and monitoring, which helped the doctors find his blood disorders. With that said, it still came as a surprise, especially to his wife, Vicky, who, York shared, was understandably a mess. She cut right to the chase when the doctor started explaining what was going on and flat out asked if all those medical terms meant her husband had cancer. He did. The word is enough to frighten anyone. But that hasn't stopped Vicky from being York's guiding force, the family caretaker, and an undeniable source of strength. It helps, as York told people, that I feel great. I mean, I walk three miles a day and I'm in great shape. And my diet is great, and my appetite is great. The doctor said that was because we got it early. While he announced that he'd be taking a break from General Hospital for a few months, Max Portrayer explained to people that he should be able to fly back and forth between Tennessee and Los Angeles to film until his transplant. At that point, he'll have to stay home in semi-isolation. York's been getting IV chemo treatments every month since March at home in Tennessee. The really excited news, though, he told Good Morning America, is that there may finally be a match. I believe they found a match, he shared, perfect match, which will make me cry. There's still some testing to do, but he should receive the transplant in November. Check out his full interview below. After that, though, expect Mac right back on our screens where he belongs. As he shared with fans when he made the announcement, he'll be back. In the meantime, we'll all continue to keep him and his family in our thoughts and have no doubt he'll beat this and be stronger than ever. It's been some time since we've seen William Davery on General Hospital, but for fans who have been missing the actor, we have some great news to share. He's going to be starring in an upcoming Christmas movie this holiday season. The soap vet took to social media to share the news with his followers that he'll be appearing in a romantic feature with Desperate Housewives actress Terry Hatcher, Susan, titled Christmas at the Chalet. Who knew? Devry teased. Christmas rom-com with Terry Hatcher and the other dude. Christmas at La Chalet. Buck, the Chalet. A couple of his daytime friends came out to send Devry congrats, including the young and the restless Michelle Stafford, Phyllis, who cheered, yes, and Jennifer Garis, who played his sister Donna on The Bold and the Beautiful, applauded him on the new role. Do you want a peek at what viewers can expect when a damsel in distress meets a stranger and spends the holidays at a Christmas chalet? Well, watch for yourself below. And for those who don't recall, the last time we saw Julian in Port Charles, was in a body bag after being shot during a scuffle with Sonny at the footbridge. Sonny had confronted him and demanded that Julian tell the cops that he planted the bomb at the floating rib. Though Julian promised to do as Sonny asked, as long as he didn't kill him after he confessed, in a turn of events, Julian acted as though he passed out, and when Sonny checked for a pulse, Julian tried to attack him. However, during the struggle for Sonny's gun, it went off and Julian was hit and fell into the river.